Hi there, Taurus. Before I get started, I'd like to make a couple comments. My first impression of the reading is that the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing. Or you're playing a multi-level chess game. So there's some complications in this. And secondly, I'd like to mention that there's quite a few major arcana cards, especially on the conscious side. And keep that in mind while I'm doing the reading. The card on the bottom left for the base of your spine, for sourcing and urgings, you receive the death card. Some event or chain of events is causing a transformation. You're in the duration of the transformation. You didn't transform. You're transforming. And it's moving rather slowly. It's like you're a butterfly coming out of a cocoon and you're disoriented and waiting for your wings to unfold and dry before you take flight. Now the clarification card is the Queen of Pentacles. This is you, male or female. Pentacles is Taurus. And this queen is a very handsome and loving queen, but she's very pragmatic. She takes care of practical matters and you know that you're transforming. It's not that she accepts it. You, when you start transforming with death, it's it's not whether you accept it or not. It's just a fact of life. But she's just kind of watching and waiting and wondering what's next. And up in the pelvic, our sacrum, you receive the four of cups. You had too much of something or you got too little of something. And I can say you're contemplating, but I don't really feel like you're contemplating. I feel like you're contentious and angry. You're mad about something. Something isn't pleasing to you. And you're dissatisfied. And this is causing some kind of obstruction in your spiritual and personal growth. And it might be even affecting your sex life, I'm not sure. But the clarification card is the Page of Pentacles. He's over here to talk some sense into the Four of Cups. If any of the Page cards came in to talk sense to me, I'd, I'd want the Page of Pentacles because he's the Mr. Responsible. While the other ones are out partying, he's home reading a book or studying to forward himself in life. But he's still immature in many ways, and he's really not up to the task of talking rhetoric to the Four of Cups. In reality, the Page of Pentacles was sent in place of the Queen of Pentacles, so they sent a boy to do a queen's job. There's a lot of antagonistic things going on here. If you noticed in my introduction, there's quite a few retrograde planets and You've got Venus retrograde the first part of, of April. You know, you've got Mars going into Taurus on the 9th, I believe it is. You know, you've got Pluto going retrograde. And this is causing arguments and disagreements. And, and Mercury is going retrograde, so this is going to cause misunderstandings. So this is kind of the time in life where you're going to have to fly under the radar for this month. And it's telling you that up in the the solar plexus too because for your feeling and sensing you receive the tower. I can say something suddenly collapsed or change of circumstances. But really what happened is is that you're transforming so slow with the death card that things didn't change fast enough and they actually did collapse. It's not a surprise to you that they collapsed, though. I th you had this preconceived idea that things weren't going well. And this puts you in a time out, because the clarification card is the Four of Swords. You're laying on your tomb, and you're not really thinking about what the purpose of your life is. It's more like you're just resigned to yourself and you're just tired, exhausted. And with the number four, 
The Four of Swords is connected to the Four of Cups. You're still dissatisfied. You've overlooked a lot of things. Now the center card for the heart of the matter or the heart of the situation. You received the Page of Pentacles again. You're back to the same place. You're back talking to the Four of Cups. What's going on, guy? You know, are you going to be happy? Are you going to resolve some of these issues that are going on? I kind of have the feeling like this is two fifth graders commiserating about something they've never done before. One's coaching the other, and they're both so inexperienced, and neither one has ever done it. That they're making all the major mistakes. And you should be acting like the Queen of Pentacles instead of the Page of Pentacles. And sometimes your responses to people have been rather immature, and you even realize this because you're thinking, did I really say that, or did I really do that? Now here we're getting closer to the heart of the matter because the clarification card is the lover's card. It's a union of some sort. It can be a partnership. It can be a friendship. It doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship. But strangely enough, the lover's card is more about making a decision or a good decision. It's the idea of vice versus virtue and doing the right thing. And it also has to do with temptation. And here you fell into the pitfall of temptation because you didn't want to compromise. And that's one feature of Taurus is that you're stubborn. Years ago, I read that constellation of Taurus actually meant steer and more like driving something towards a direction. But then it got misconstrued into steer as a cow or cattle, and then it went to bull because there was a bullishness about some of the characteristics of the Tyrians. So here you are trying to find some balance and harmony with a union card, with a card that wants you to make a decision. Now down at the bottom right for throat, for communicating the teachings, you receive the Three of Cups. You're reveling in happiness, you're celebrating. And the clarification card is the Wheel of Fortune. Something fortuitous happened to make you feel like, oh, everything's all right now. I received a message from the Page of Pentacles and he gave me the green light that I don't really have to deal with something that I haven't wanted to deal with. This has to do with the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. As I said, you overlooked some things and it went into actually denial. Because the card above the Three of Cups is the Lover's card again. It's the third eye the seeing and envisioning. You're re revisiting the problems that you had. You, you didn't get to the core of things. You didn't nip things in the bud. And here it's resurfacing again. Hi there. I'm having problems with this union I have with you or you have with somebody else. You haven't been nurturing it. You think it's kind of an automatic and you receive what you want out of it and you really don't care how other person feels about it. And the clarification card is the Six of Pentacles. And this caught your attention because maybe you should be a little more charitable, or somebody should be a little more charitable in this relationship. Give it a little more time. Nurture it. Pay attention. And maybe you won't be in denial anymore. You might have taking care of nine out of ten big things and thought, well, with the death card here and I'm transforming that just by momentum it's going to push through, but it didn't happen that way. Now the top right hand card for the crown for knowing and understanding, you receive the star. All of a sudden you are understanding, you're seeing things with more clarity. We use the stars to guide ourselves and also to find our position on earth. And here you have found your position on earth. And you are transforming and changing. You're using it as a beacon now. 
And the clarification card is the Hierophant. And I could give you all this bull about, oh, traditional, orthodox, this and that. And it does have to do with finding truth because you were in denial and you weren't looking at the truth. But then again, Taurus oversees the Hierophant card. And this is indicating you, yeah, you, you made some realizations here and you're being guided. The star card can even be some kind of celestial guard, guardians helping you through things. So here you went full revolution. You have the Queen of Pentacles down at the bottom, which personifies you. And now you have a pudgy hierophant that's also saying, yeah, Taurus, you made some realizations. Now the past card on the left is the Queen of Cups. Once again, there's a couple things going on here. Now she's feeling really comfortable about a lot of things and and she's the inevitable nurturing mother, but sometimes she can smother people with too much love. And maybe that's what happened in some instances in what's going on in the big picture here. And then again, when people solicit advice from her, she can give excellent advice, but she can't follow her own advice. And the last thing about the Queen of Cups here is that she's looking into a cup that has the cover over it. This is indicating intuition. And the collapse of the tower in your gut feeling area. She knew that was a major possibility, but she and intuitively knew it. But ran the risk of it happening. Because it's like, well, maybe it's only 10%. Well, it did happen. Now, the future card on the, on the right is the world. So it's saying, yeah, you've completed this cycle. You've learned your lesson. You understand and you've got knowledge under your belt and you're ready to go on for new challenges. Which is excellent. A lot of people in their lifetime haven't come to these realizations and you have to appreciate that. And I pulled a clarification card for the world because sometimes the world's just, well, okay, you're in completion. And it's the Ace of Cups. It is about emotions and love. The whole key to this transformation that I said, if we got down to the core of why the death card's here, we'll understand the reading. Now the Ace of Cups is giving you the opportunity to find more deeper emotions and relationships that will make you feel more complete. Okay, for the Doreen Virtue card, you received Omega. It says, Victory! Your desire is coming to fruition. Keep up the good work. And as you can see, you received the World card. Everything has come. To fruition. And you're the last reading I'm doing here for the series and a lot of the other signs are at a point of making decisions and also walking down memory lane. But it seems like you're not walking down memory lane and you do have a few decisions to make but there's a little bit of turmoil going on in your life that has to be resolved. Let's see what's going on in your reading. The center cards for the present you received the Five of Swords and the Eight of Wands. The Five of Swords is about conflict, struggle, struggle within yourself. I like to call it a skirmish for the meaning of life with the conflicts in your life. Presently, there's some disagreements going on in your life. And the Eight of Wands is about sudden change. It's a positive sudden change, though. It's like your cell phone didn't work for a week and all of a sudden every call is coming through. You just did a thousand piece puzzle and one piece got lost and you just found it while you were vacuuming before you vacuumed over it. And here in the midst of the conflict, it appears that there's going to be a sudden change in attitudes towards people or just in attitudes. Now up above for your prospects, receive two major arcana cards, the Emperor and the Temperance. The Emperor is the one that 
runs his empire with rules and regulations. It's about structure and order and making boundaries for civility. And temperance is reminding you to temper your behavior and, and be like the emperor, in control, not using emotions but logic to make your decision. Now the past cards are the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. The Seven of Pentacles I call almost a harvest card. Everything's almost ripe out in the fields and you're ready to harvest the crop. But this is a tenuous time when something can happen. Flood, hail, frost, and you're not going to receive the abundance of the fruit of your labor. And the clarification card is the Ten of Cups. It's like the happiness card. You're feeling some happiness. You're working towards it. But it's like the Seven of Cups. You're not quite there yet. You're not able to glimpse heaven over the rainbow of cups. Or you haven't been. Because presently you're still in some kind of skirmishes. Some kind of conflict. Now the cards on the bottom for your problems. Receive the Nine of Swords. It's a card of sorrow and grief, anxiety. You're having nightmares or something happened that's keeping you up at night. And this could be connected to the Five of Swords up above. It's still bothering you. Something didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. And the clarification card is the Fool. You want to move on. You want to do some self-discovery. And the other clarification card is death. You're transforming. You're changing. You know no longer can you dwell in this morass. You have to look forward to, to life and what it offers. Now up in your possibilities are possibilities for prosperity. Receive the magician and the hermit. Oh yeah, you're you're ready to, to change. The magician gives you all of the tools to rebuild. It's just you have to have the ambition and know how to apply the knowledge that you've learned to use these tools. The magician makes something out of nothing. He rebuilds and he uses his willpower, his mere willpower and ideas to rebuild. And the hermit is about desiring a change in your unconscious. You're doing some soul searching with all the things that happened, especially with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords. He wants to acquire some wisdom under his belt and help the magician rebuild. And I pulled one more clarification card for the magician and the hermit and received the Wheel of Fortune. The Fates are Fortune are on your side. There is a spattering of luck involved in this and you have to take advantage of this auspicious time because the wheel cycles out and it'll go down. And really the best advice that this reading is giving you is that you have to be the emperor in temperance. You have to be able to control your life and make good decisions and temper your behavior. And you'll have success and luck.